Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode 102, I think. It's a little late, but oh well. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I'm recording on a different camera. I don't know what the quality is going to look like until I start to edit it, so if it looks weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> My phone is charging, and uh, I don't want to wait to record. So anyways, I got some finished objects to share with you guys this week, and I've got some uh, whips and I got some Happy Meal and I got some bags that's in the shop. There are still some in the shop if you want to go check them out real fast and uh, I'll show you the ones later. But let's hop on into the fiber content. Okay, I'll start with my finished objects. I have three finished objects uh, technically. This one's ends aren't woven in but it's still done. This, I'll, um, I'm making my Valentine's Day countdown. Um, who's that by? I gotta read that right by Love and Loops or Loops and Love. I can't even remember. I don't have it written down. I gotta fix it up. <laughs> but, um, so I'm, I'm looking for decorations because I didn't like her heart pattern that she had to decorate it with. So I started looking for my own heart pattern. So I found this one for free and it's called Sweetie Hearts Applique by Bella Crochet and it's free on a blog. I used a J Hook Red Heart Super Saver. I think the colorway is perfect pink. But it's kind of hard to show you because it's, um, you know, it's floppy. And it, the ends aren't woven in. But it's really pretty. So I'm thinking about making a couple more of these. Uh, it's kind of a granny square and then with the loops on top. I think it's pretty. It's pretty big. I made it with a J hook. I think hers is a much smaller hook. She uses like a G or something. But I wanted it to be bigger because it's for decoration. But um, I haven't actually laid it out with my thing yet. So I don't even know if it's going to fit where I want it. But um, I'm going to try that later. And uh, see if I like it and if I do I might make a couple red ones also to um, put on there too. Uh, I was really hoping I'd be done by the, with that Valentine's countdown by now but as long as I get it done before February it's all good. Alright my next two finished objects are both squares for, for the Jada and Stitches 2017 calendar blanket that I've been working on since I think the beginning of last year. I think I started it in early 2019 but um, I'm, I'm in the home stretch because this is September and October square and I one of my whips is November square but this is September square and that's an apple <laughs> um, it's all scraps but it's all red heart also it's red heart cherry red green I can't remember what that is like hunter green or something like that white and up here there's a piece of chocolate <laughs> and uh, this is like um, tea leaf I think or something like that. I used it for my Grinch wreath and uh, this was just left over from that. But uh, so this is September square so it's like back to school apple. <laughs> and then October square is a jack-o'-lantern and again it's all scrap yarn and Red Heart Super Saver. It's white and this is navy blue and then um, I don't know if this is pumpkin or carrot. I always get those two mixed up. And then the yellow is bright yellow, and this is some more of the chocolate from um, the apple, <laughs> the apple core. So I got these both done last night. I was just sitting and crocheting while Je when Jesse went to bed. I stayed up and crocheted, and I finished those. Those are both free patterns, and they're free video tutorials on YouTube. She has a playlist of all the squares, and then how to put them together in the border and all that. So that's my finished objects this, this week. I was hoping to get done with the Valentine's Day countdown, but I just I haven't really had a lot of crochet time. I've been uh, busy with life <laughs> and uh, just haven't really felt that good this week, but um, I'm picking back up. I'm doing crochet now. I did those two squares last night and I worked on this one last night too. This is my first whip. This is the November square. It's an owl. I'm trying to... Jesse's in that plan. <laughs> It's kind of all curly. It's got to be an owl. Right now it looks like it might be a monkey or a dog. <laughs> but again, it's all Red Heart Super Sarah scraps. It's white. I think this is called gold. Uh, this is Cafe Latte. And this is buff, maybe? can't remember. <laughs> exactly. But I got that much done of the owl. I got all of the pieces done. I just didn't sew them all on. These are the ears. And then I got the beak done and the eyeballs and I just have to sew them on. I was doing it last night and it was like 11 something and I was just getting too tired to continue sewing so I went ahead and just stopped and I'll finish this at some point today. And then that just leaves me with one more square that's um, December's and it's like a Christmas bobble. I've already got the yarn pulled out for it. I just have to start it and then I do 
I connect them all and then do a border and it'll be done. This blanket is going to be going to my nephew after our county fair. Uh, before our county fair, you know, I'm going to keep it so it stays clean. And I'm going to enter in the fair as the baby Afghan. And then uh, after the fair, she can have it. My sister can have it for her son. <laughs> and um, see here. My next web, I guess I'll just show you since I was talking about it. My Valentine. What's, let me get the right name for it. <laughs> Valentine's Day countdown, corner to corner, and it's by Love and Loops, I think. I used a H hook and all red heart yarn. Let me get the background. All right, this is the background that I made. Corner to corner. It is all red hearts, cherry red, white, and perfect pink. That's been done for like a week. And then I did make all the pockets. There's 14 pockets here. They're three by three corner to corner, and then there's one that's four by four. That's the 14th. All I gotta do with these is I need to put little borders around three sides of it of pink, and then sew them on. And then I got to make the heart appliques and sew them on, and then make the little thing that moves in between the pockets and get that on there. <laughs> and I gotta figure out something for numbers. I still haven't had a chance to go to my local Dollar Tree. I'm planning on going there to um, see if I can find some wooden numbers or something. I looked at Walmart today and all I could find was uh, little stickers and wooden letters. I couldn't find numbers. So I'm trying to find numbers and uh, I might also try to, um, there's the 4x4, <laughs> uh, top stitch on there or even just embroider. I was just going to try it out and see how it looked and see which way I prefer. And I've got a little over a week. Let's see, what is today? I got a week and two days <laughs> to get this done before February 1st. And actually this weekend I'm going Valentine's Day shopping. So I got to uh, get a moment along to get something for my boys. And I'm going to get little things to put in here for Jesse. And uh, yeah, so I'm hoping by the next episode I will have this done. So sometime next week. <laughs> but my last whip, right? Yeah, my last whip is my granny shawl that I've been working on. I'm not using a pattern for this. Um, I'm just, it's just a granny stitch. But there are a lot of similar ones out there. You could just, if you're interested, you could just top in a granny shawl. And I'm using, um, let me get the ball because I can't remember. Okay. I'm using Yarnby Sugar Wheel in Barquet Valet, I think is how you say it. I'm not sure. But I got it on clearance uh, at Hobby Lobby last early summer when they had that huge clearance sale. These are the colors. It's blue, purple, yellow, and like a almost minty green and then a really pretty sagey green. And uh, this is what I got so far. I have worked on it a lot since you guys last seen it. I'm on the second ball now. Let me pull out my things so I don't lose my stitches. It's awful big. There's the start of it. It goes all the way down here. Ignore my dirty shirt. I'm wearing a t-shirt because I don't feel good today. So I'm wearing like an old ratty <laughs> shirt. This is it so far. And it is pretty big, but I want it bigger. So this is how much I have left of the second cake. And I'm thinking about putting three cakes into this to make it big and squishy. But I think this is going to be so pretty. I want to make this so that when I'm at my in-laws this spring and fall, I can wrap up in it while we're doing fires in the backyard making uh, s'mores and hot dogs and stuff and he has a projector that he sets up outside sometimes and we watch movies outside in the spring and fall sometimes in the summer but it gets really hot here in the summer so mostly spring and fall and uh, you know every now and then there's like a little chill so it's good to just have something to wrap around you so this is the whole idea of making that but it's pretty isn't it not so pretty and I have a ton of these cakes up there that I want to make some more of these with because these are just good um mindless projects. This stitch is super easy to do with, without paying attention. So I can watch TV or watch YouTube videos and um, work on this. And what I'm going to do is I want to use up all those cakes that I bought for these shawls and then I'm going to donate them to my local nursing home. I keep forgetting what that word is. But uh, we have we have three nursing homes in my city and uh, there's two nice-ish ones. One really nice one, like fancy one. And then there's one that's like a government funded, <laughs> not so nice one that, you know, I'm sure they do the best they can, but it's like the the poor people one. I'm going to donate them to that one. Because I know from when my grandpa was in uh, the nursing home before, I know there's a lot of people in there that don't get visitors ever. You know, like their family don't even care about them. And um, so they don't get gifts. So I'd like to gift them things 
from people, you know, so that they know that there are people out there who care about them. But anyways, let's not talk about sad stuff. <laughs> That's my last whip, is my shawl. It's all globbed up. Okay, I'm back. I had to get my son a snack. So now I'm gonna move on to acquisitions. I got some pretty cool acquisitions to share with you guys. One is my Knit Crate, which I, I'm, I recorded a video for it, but I never got around to editing it, and then it was just so late, because everybody else started putting out videos, <laughs> that I just thought it was irrelevant to even uh, edit it and upload it. So, oh, I showed some of this already on my vlog channel, which if you don't know what that is, it's linked in the description. It's, it's called No Catchy Name Life, and I vlog over there, I do recipes, I'm sharing my weight loss journey, and, um, and just all the other life stuff, not just the crochet stuff, uh, is over there if you want to check it out. But, uh, like I said, I showed some of these on there, and then, uh, I got some new ones since then. I'm excited about some of them. They're still little. But here's my knit crate. I got the natural, neutral, whatever they call it, colorway. It is so pretty. Ugh. I wanted this one or the orange one, and I would have been happy with either of them, of course. But this one's so pretty. I, I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but it's going to be so beautiful, and I'm going to have to keep... Uh, an eye on it to make sure my mom doesn't steal it because these are right up her alley in colors. She loves uh, earthy tones, neutral tones, and it's so pretty. I love this one. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Mm, I'm so happy. Okay, enough for that. <laughs> but okay, so I got some um, mail. Let me get separated. One of them is a belated Christmas card because it came from a whole other country and it came from the West Indies, which is so cool. <laughs> But um, I'm going to share it to you guys. Her name is Arlene. And it's a super cute card. I showed it on my vlog channel already. But not on this channel. So if you're seeing this again, it's because you watched it over there. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> That's from the West Indies. which is so cool. Like right here, it's got the, uh, this, this, the postal stamp. And it says, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know how to say that right. But that's so cool. But look, even the well, it's just my address. Even the stamp is um, that. So that's so cool. I love getting mail like that. I'm just a nerd that way. And then this next gift I got from a viewer who also has an Etsy shop, which I will link below. And it's called Mul Mulberry Lane by Haley. And so she sent me a cute card. This is no problema. Thank you. <laughs> and she said in it, she has really beautiful penmanship. She said that. Um, me having my Etsy shop has inspired her to start Etsy shop, which is really cool. And so she sent me like a, a sample of her work. So she sent me one of these um, cake cozies for yarn cakes. And it's got cherry blossoms on it, which is super cute. And there's her little logo, her tag. And her Etsy is Mulberry Lane by Haley. I will link it below though. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. I've always wanted to try some of these, and I never have, but I've seen other people making them and stuff. So it's really cool that I have one now that I can try out. And then I got some books. So this is really cool. And that's a grocery receipt. <laughs> but I got this book. A viewer named Mary messaged me in December and said that she, uh, that there was a new book coming out in January that she wanted. And she thought I would enjoy it too. So she ordered her a copy, and she also ordered me a copy, which is so cool. And, um... I absolutely love this book. It came yesterday, and I want to start so bad, but I'm, I'm going to not start until I finish the 2017 Jada Blanket and the Unraveled Mitten Blanket, because that's the one I'm going to go for next, um, finishing it after I finish the 2017 one. But look at this book. Oh, it's 3D green squares. Look at them. And on the back is some more. There's some super de duper cute squares in here. I can't show you because each page has the pattern, but it also has the graph. <laughs> but there are all kinds of animals, beach themes, bugs, flowers, foods, um, shapes, different shapes, uh, holiday ones. I want to make every single one of them and make a bunch of blankets. How many are there? There's a hundred of them. I wonder what size they are. Because I could kind of do like Terry did and just go through the whole thing and make every single one of them. That would be fun. I might do that. But I have to wait till I finish a couple. Because right now I have three blankets going. And that's the 2017 Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. The 2019 Jada and Stitches calendar blanket. and Or the folk art blanket. And the Unraveled Mitten one. I got a lot of those squares done. I'm only a little behind on that. Maybe like nine, nine or ten squares. I don't know. I got that, so thank you so much for that. I absolutely love this, and I cannot wait to um, rip into it because I want to make every single one of those. And I might do that. I might just start with the first one. 
what is the first one? The first one is a donut square. Let's see if I can show it a little bit. There's a little bit of it. I'm excited about that. All right, and this package I got today, actually. And it's from Texas, and her name is Elvira. Elvira, my heart's on fire for Elvira. But she said, <laughs> let me get her notes right here. She said that she um, was shopping for buttons and found this and thought that I would like it and she was totally right. I love this. I can't, I can't wait to use it. And I'm going to use it for my sewing notes. Like when I'm putting project bags and uh, when people ask for certain prints, I can write it down in there and all that and take it with me when I'm shopping. But she found this. This is so perfect because I've been buying this material lately. But it's a simplicity themed. It's like an old timey pattern of simplicity. Where is it? Right here. And it's ladies and dresses. And then the paper is lined paper. And it's got that girl in the bottom. And then a little bit further into the book, it's got another girl. And then a little bit more further, it's got... Ah! I'm dropping it. Another girl. And then there's one more. Right there. And that is so cool. And it's just polka dotted on the inside of the cover. Can't wait to use that. It's so perfect. Thank you so much. And also she sent me a sticker book. I love stickers so much. Stickers are one of my favorite things in the world. And I love, you know, I, I'm keeping my weight loss journal and I'm keeping my um, crochet journal thing where I keep all my projects and what yarns I used and when I started them and when I finished them, all that kind of stuff in it. And I decorate them with stickers. So she sent me a big old thing. These are like planner stickers, which are perfect. These are the kind that I love of stickers. And it's got a really pretty cover. Even the cover's pretty. It says there's 1,767 stickers in there. And there's like a breakdown of all the stickers. So this made me so happy. I opened it today. And it was a nice little reward for being at the post office because I had to take all my orders to the post office today. And I had to do one, um, a customs uh, sheet, which are really annoying to fill out. Normally I do them online and just print out the label. But to, uh, yesterday and today, the USPS custom, or you know, like shipping, me shipping to Canada, if something to do with that was down. And so I was like, dang it, I'm just going to have to go to the post office and do it in person. So I had to fill out the custom sheet, and then I had to scan in all my already printed packages. And then I had to wait again, because I had to go to the table to fill out the customs, and I had to wait in line again to mail that other package. And But I finally got it all done after like 25 minutes. And um, this was in the mail that day, so I got or today. So I got to take it home and open it, and I was so excited. And it's so cute. So thank you so much for this. I can't wait to use it. I'm going to use it for my fabric notes, my sewing notes. I'm going to keep your letter in there too so I can always remember who uh, gifted it to me and I can just reread the note forever. But yeah, so that's my acquisitions. Um, the last, I have two more things that I want to share with you guys. One is bags and one's another thing. And so I'm going to grab the bags real fast and share them with you guys. These are all my bags in the shop. <laughs> I keep them in my zoo bag that we got at the Knoxville Zoo last time we went. And uh, I just keep them in here to keep them all clean. So I'm just going to go through quick the sets that are left in the shop in case you guys are interested. So there are two of these sets left in the shop. I call them bedtime bears because they're little teddy bears in bed. <laughs> and they are sacks because I made them a while ago. And they both have notion pouches. You okay? Yeah. Okay. And then there are, let's see here. There's two of these left and they're Star Wars themed but they look like sugar skulls. And they are boxed bottom bags, so they have the squared off corners, and they have no shoe pouches. There's one of these set, so it has a no shoe pouch. Well, things vibrating. <laughs> it's um, yellow with orange and green little heart stripes on there. It's boxed bottom bag. Ow, just hit my elbow. <laughs> and then this print, I have one two three four sets left in and it's just really cool colorful print <laughs> they kind of look like feathers or leaves maybe and they're all boxed bottom and they all have notion pouches so that's all the bags that's currently in the shop right now if, as of me recording if you go check out the shop these are in there <laughs> and uh let me put them back up so that they stay clean and not where jesse can get them <laughs> Ooh, okay so yeah, last thing I want to share with you guys is a giveaway. Yay, it's a secret one. <laughs> but um, 
I'm trying to use up a lot of my yarn stash. I've mentioned it a few times already this year. And I'm doing pretty good. I made a dent in my... I call them my weird yarns. And Anna, I know they're not weird. I love colorful things too. I just call them weird because they're like... I only have a couple of each of them. And they're, they're kind of crazy colors. So they don't just go with anything. That's why I call them my weird yarns. I love them. I love my colorful yarns. That's why I have so many. But um, I'm trying to... I went through them the, uh, the other day. Because I was doing my square on... Kayla's January bingo. There's one right here that's organize your yarn stash. I wanted to get that little heart. So I organized my yarn stash. And I went through it. I pulled out some stuff that I, I don't think I'll ever use. So I'm going to gift that to people. And I kind of, you know, just kind of assessing what I have. So I know kind of what I want to make with it. So uh, I found up towards the top where I keep my fancy yarns. And it's um, like Malabrigo that I bought and stuff that I bought in Gatlinburg at the yarnery there and knit crates that I've kept like this is gonna go up there <laughs> but um I found this knit crate up there and although it is beautiful yarn I don't think I'm ever gonna use it for anything so I thought I would pass it on to somewhere else so it's this it's like a really pretty t uh blue teal it's more blue really pretty I hope it's showing up good I can't tell but it's called uh it's the Yura yarn it is called Enlightened, the colorway. It is DK. It's 85% merino wool, 15% silk, and it's 300 yards each. So it's 600 yards of DK together. Really pretty blue. And I wanted to gift it to someone, so I thought I'd do it in a secret giveaway. <laughs> and um, from now on, I'll probably do a lot of these secret giveaways throughout my videos. And it could be any video, maybe not even just a No Catch Your Name episode. It might be some other video. Uh, just to give away some of my yarn stash that I don't think I'll ever use. So if you want to try to win this, um, you can be anywhere in the world that can accept packages from the United States. I will pay to ship it to you, but if you have to pay customs or duties or taxes or anything like that, that's on you when you go to pick it up. You have to be 18 or older. You have to be a subscriber. <laughs> and I do check. And I don't know if there's any other laws. This isn't associated with Knit Crate or YouTube. It's just me giving it away because I have it and I don't need it anymore. And... To win it, I'll do one of those comment searches where I put a certain word in there. So, um, hmm, what word? Okay, the colorway is called Enlightened. So use, um, the word Enlightened in your comment. <laughs> and, um, but don't mention a giveaway. If I see any comments that mention a giveaway, I'm going to delete them. Because the whole point of these giveaways is I want to keep them secret so that actual subscribers win and not just random people who are looking for your boys. So don't put giveaway in the comment, but do put the word enlightened in the comment if you want to um, win. <laughs> Did that focus? Did this camera focus? Oh my gosh, is it focusing? I think it focused. I may have to always use this camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's everything. So just leave a comment. I will draw a winner. Just one second. I'll draw a winner on the 29th, which is next Wednesday. And I'll announce said winner the day after that, the 30th. Right there, the 30th. I <laughs> love that little magnet calendar. I got that oh, in, got as a gift. Some, some more? Uh, on the Alright, hold on just one minute and I'll get you some more. I just want some more pepperonis. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off and I'm going to uh, edit it and get it up. I hope this quality is good. Do I look okay? <laughs> Do I sound okay? Um, I have a microphone. I haven't used it so long I don't know where it's at. <laughs> I have to dig it out. But anyways, good luck uh, to whomever wins. And uh, yeah, happy crafting. Like this video if you like it. Share it if you think someone else will. Subscribe if you're not. And also check out my vlogging channel if you're interested in my daily life or weight loss or recipes. I've been sharing a few recipes. <laughs> so if you're interested in any of that, go check that out. It's in the description box. My um, Instagram, all those links, Facebook group is all in the description box. Just check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.